Hello everyone and now welcome. Welcome to a game between Romantic and Focus. This game taken from uh, the Net Boom Land tournament um, back in January, but well, always always nice to see um, LAN events still happening. I believe it was a LAN event. Crota has mind reading glasses. Um, I, I don't know. Just saw a pair of gunners on my on my desk. I'm like, yeah, I should really be watching my blue light intake. Might as well wear them. Romantic spawning as the blue human on the bottom left hand side of the map now working twice or four times as hard to get to that two minute mark. We're looking at I, what I believe to be an archmage, yep, going up against a farseer. So farseer, archmage, farseer will have some, um, well, headhunters, a lone grunt headhunters, and we'll see if we get to that tier three. All right, second hero most likely going to be of that Torin chieftain as well as things are already on the move. Autumn leaves 2.0, both sides looking to engage, and there you have it, uh, going straight after that forest troll berserker first, able to rack up a good amount of damage, and now ring of protection plus four picked up. All right, this frost wolf is, well, getting in some easy shots um, against all of these other wolves here, and well, trying to just split the damage, let passive regeneration do a little bit of the work, enchanted glasses of mind reading. Mm. Uh. Glasses of intelligence. Yeah. No. Gunner glasses of perc perception? I, I don't know. Anyways, I'm having a lot of fun just making names up. Archmage sitting at level 2 has double gloves of haste. F squad of footmen off to the side here. More creeping still going on on the other side of the map as well as the forest troll trapper and will get finished off. All right, there it goes. Only a Sasquatch left. Farseer sitting at level 2, hoping to clear out this creep camp quickly. But the Archmage comes around and ready to put in some pressure and, well, perhaps try to finish off um, one of those wolves. All right, a little bit of damage onto a Grunt. Wolves getting, um, well, denied and then resummoned as we're looking at the Footman trying to chase down that Grunt off to the north. Headhunters are going to be doing a little bit of poking. But remember, Grunts do have 700 base hit points. That is significantly more than the 420 of... Uh, a footman who easily gets taken down. Archmage says, surprise, I was coming around the other way. I'll be coming around the forest when I come. As the headhunter does a, well, a merciful uh, javelin spear to the face to deny experience. All right. More headhunters continuing to poke back again and again. Archmage coming back around as the spirit wolves now making their way down. All right. Coming back through, Farseer getting the opportunity to finish off this Sasquatch now. A little bit of a Berserker poke. And I like this play by Focus. He, he realized, and, and this is, uh, you know, some of the things that, um, some of the things that, um, players can do to make sure you, you're maximizing your damage. The Headhunters and the Farseer have a similar range. Is, is it 600, 550? They have similar range. But the Farseer was, got to the position point first and was kind of actually blocking the headhunters from being able to engage. Instead of allowing the computer or recognizing that moment, he actually moved his Farseer up a little bit. And by doing that, in between attacks, the headhunters um, quickly were able to get within a throwing range as well, getting in one additional round of attacks. And, well, the faster you do something in a real-time strategy game, well, and the more efficient you are, the better things are generally, as you can then move on to other tactics and strategies. You didn't know you could deny in Warcraft 3 like in Dota? Um, the original Dota engine was built as a Warcraft 3 custom map. So, so the experience engine from the original Dota is the same exact sp experience engine found in Warcraft 3. So uh, a little bit of a lesson. I, I, guess I, I guess I'm showing my age here and, and kind of surprised that um, players wouldn't know that. It's just, right? Uh, I, I don't know. It's, it, it, yeah. 
It's all connected. It's all connected. Water Elemental summoned up um, amongst the side here. We're looking at a bestiary and a spirit lodge um, being trained up with that Torin Chieftain following up behind. Meanwhile, Mountain King is already out on the battlefield, ready to clear out this Kobold Taskmaster creep camp down to the south. All right, Stormbolt onto the Kobold Taskmaster. A little bit of damage onto the Kobold Geomancer. There's a lot of slow Mountain King going up against all of these units here. The Kobold Tunneler, also with medium armor, ends up getting cleaned up quickly. Now you've made Crota feel old. D don't worry, that's very easy to do. All right, Torin Chieftain, Endurance Aura first. Farseer pushing back the Archmage with a couple of Spirit Wolves. And the Torin Chieftain really wants to get to level 2 first, as we will then begin the Stomp or st stomp versus Thunderclap games here on Autumn Leaves. Or at least that's usually the case. Water Elemental quickly going to get finished off here. Torin Chieftain does pick up Healing Wards and smartly decides, you know what, I don't want to continue to creep when I know my opponent is nearby and could potentially creep jack me. Enraged Wildkin, Null Overseer coming back across here. There is a couple, a pair of priests here ready to offer a bit of healing and protection. Meanwhile, the Torin Chieftain going to close after this Null Overseer creep camp. No help from the Farseer, as the Farseer perhaps wants to get in a little bit of harassment here. All right, low hit point Footman. Is he going to find that find that Farseer? Yes, he does. But the Footman just going to back away instead. A little bit of damage going on to some of these other units. Stormbolt could be inbound. No, no Stormbolt inbound, as the Mountain King perhaps wants to get to level 3 first. All right. Torrent Chieftain could be in that front line spot, could try and engage. Are we going to see an ensnare onto the Granite Golem type of thing um, against all of these units? There is a surround onto the Granite Golem, and there is a well, nasty Thunderclap to go with it as well. Very big damage. The Granite Golem, well, putting his fists down, trying to stun everything up here. Uh, but that uh, early healing ward is offering quite a bit of additional protection. Um, keeping these units alive and will also those spirit those spirit um, wolves as well. Legion of Doomhorn, Torn Chieftain going to pick that up. Level w 1 Endurance Aura, I guess 0.5 version of the Unholy Aura that Torn Chieftain will be walking around and leading that army very quickly. Farsi are going to be coming back around here, going to swing around. Mountain King already sitting at level uh, 3 with level 2 Thunderclap. Engagements could be, um, well, nope, no engagement yet. Arch, Arch, what, what happened? All right. Like something plugged in and unplugged on my computer. And as I heard the, the USB disconnect reconnect on my mouse. Do I really need a new computer? My computer is getting very old, but I don't know if I... Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe it's time to throw in the towel. Mm. If my computer can't, uh, can't hold, hang up, or hold up anymore, I guess that'd be a good reason. Uh, yeah, computer's like, I've been casting on the same computer for 10 years. What's going on? Kids. Kids are what's going on. They need computers, too. <laughs> Took a lot of my budget. Alright. <laughs> no, no. I'm not Scooby-Doing. I, I would have continued casting if it wasn't for those... Those meddling kids. <laughs> no, not that at all. All right. Torrent Chieftain getting ready to engage here. Mountain King. Well, oh, Mountain King tries to come in for a thunderclap. Ends up getting stomped. Farseer comes across. Mountain King able to get a thunderclap here. And here we are. Torrent Chieftain trying to push his way through again. Are we going to see another stomp again? Yes, we are. Followed up by a lightning shield. And that lightning shield ha did do a good amount of damage. All of these peasants in this frontline spot. Potion of invulnerability here. Ring of regeneration. Potion of healing. And um, also used as well. There's another purge. More thunderclap coming back across. There is that invul, invul potion as well. And who's going to come out on top here? Both sides exchanging blows. 
thunderclap versus a, a thunderclap versus a stomp going back left and right. A new round of spirit wolves. Torrent Chieftain being forced to retreat back here. Takes a stormbolt, and he could be in a very very bad mood, but is able to escape at 24 hit points. Mountain King does have invisibility and could try and surprise um, the Torin Chieftain. Archmage falls at level 3 as a healing ward goes down on and uh, placed down in position, keeping all of these units alive and together. All right, Torin Chieftain back up to nearly 500 hit points already. Not quite sure why you would walk away from the healing ward. Um, when you are so low on hit points, uh, but I guess needs to be on the move using a clarity potion, no healing salve. All right. Archmage at level three, Mountain King at level three does have invisibility engaged. Uh, Torrent Chieftain perhaps going to pick up another invul potion as well um, in order to, well, get into those dangerous situations without... Um, without taking too much damage. The Torrent Chieftain best in that front line spot um, in order to stun multiple units, and that is not the case. Picks up a Scroll of Healing. Invo Potion currently on the Farseer. We may see a little swappy swap in, in just a second. Meanwhile, Archmage sitting at level 3 does have level 2 Brilliance Aura. I wanted to check that specifically. Level 2 Brilliant Aura on the Archmage gives more mana, obviously, to that Mountain King who, ha who has been very mana intensive. Are we going to see any ensnares? And an ensnare going down onto the Dire Frostwolf would, would work as well. Just try to divide and conquer this. Archmage comes across, Stormbolt finds a Raider, and that Raider could have a very, very bad day. Thunder follow up Thunderclap there. Rifleman continuing to shoot, and as the Torrent Chieftain going to try to dive on in, there is a nice stomp stunning a half a dozen uh, Riflemen. All right. Archmage was resurrected at the Tavern. Mountain King currently invisible. Torrent Chieftain is going to put his foot down. There's a thunderclap in order to try and get away. If the Torrent Chieftain had the opportunity to stomp, that would have been absolutely perfect as we're looking at the Granite Golem getting in a quick, quick boulder toss against that Farseer. Both sides still fighting their way through. A headhunter trying to purposely back up again. More damage racking up, but it looks as though the Farseer and the Torrent Chieftain going to finish off this Granite Golem fairly easily. Minimal losses and, well, another powerful item in store for the Farseer or that Torrent Chieftain. And it is going to be... Endurance Aura. All right. This was not the item he was looking for. Most uh, will definitely be sold. And, well, what will be picked up instead? Invul Potion, Scroll of Town Portal, Scroll of Healing. No Invul Potion just quite yet. Oh, nope. He, ma uh, he made sure to make me not a liar picking up an Invul Potion. Thank you, Focus. I am, um, yeah. All right. Shaman's getting shot in the back there. There goes one headhunter. Stormbolt could have gone down onto the shaman, and then the headhunter would have been perhaps a bit um, blocked up here. Mountain King, another invisibility potion. And by having all of these invisibility potions, the Mountain King has, has been able to consistently snipe down units. Focus does have this expo off to the north. He is still only at Stronghold, so the um, headhunters have no chance of ever becoming a berserker yet. Archmage summing up some um, invisible water elementals now as they're going to be pushing through once more. All right, Rifleman. Trying to go for an engagement. Level 3 Spirit... No, Level 3 Chain Lightning. Are we going to go in, into an engagement here just now? Level 4, Level 3 going up against a Level 5, Level 4. Both sides are trying to initiate that attack first. Who's going to get the damage? There's the Stomp. And uh, here we are, Torrent Chieftain trying to rack up. There's a Chain Lightning as well. Bouncing across. Orc living up to their theme. All that lightning damage. And, well, constantly trying to stun down these units. All right, more damage. Another Rifleman in the back position. Is he going to get poked apart? Yes, a Thunderclap. Only hitting four units, though. Kodo Beast, however, unable to chomp down on any units as the Torrent Chieftain hasn't been able to get a, a good... Well, I take it back. There is a massively strong stomp there as the Archmage could be in trouble. Mountain King tries to transfer a potion over. Is the Archmage going to be able to get away? Yes, he is. Dust of Appearance is on him. Torrent Chieftain currently out 
lot of mana. Both sides are fighting their way through. There's a stun onto the Torrent Chief and there. Chain Lightning bouncing around, finding a low hit point arch or Rifleman as both sides are still fighting. Farseer trying to engage here. Stormbolt onto the Farseer. Farseer down to 187 hit points. Is he going to get clapped down? Yes, he will. Slow clap there. Archmage still staying alive. Priest able to get in a lot of healing as the Archmage is kind of trapped up against a couple of rocks here and in a tough spot. Focus continuing to engage against the Archmage. Archmage still finding a way to heal as the Torrent Chieftain, well, tries to get out of this tight spot and we have seen a complete reversal. What was a level 5, level 4 going up against a level 4, level 3 has now turned into an, a level 4 Archmage and a level 5 Mountain King. That was a, um, the Archmage playing on the edge of the sword, playing hard to get, um, able to uh, well, stay alive even though constantly low on hit points with the help of all of these priests working together. And Focus, who had the economic advantage with that extra base mining, now going to lose this and needs to find a way to uh, well close in on this gap. 53 supply compared to 49. Farseer was resurrected at the tavern, needs a clarity potion and a, a, well, and a healing salve in order to try and stay together. Meanwhile, peasants need to get in some repairs. And well, without the repairs, this could be very bad news as the Torrent Chieftain trying to launch the attacks now. All right, there's a Chain Lightning bouncing around. There's a Thunderclap Mountain King having plenty of mana standing so long next to the Archmage. But now we see level 5 Torrent Chieftain with level 3 Stomp. That's going to increase the radius that's going to increase the duration of the stomp as the chain lightning continues to bounce around again. Stomp versus chain lightning as the Torrent Chieftain continuing to well, push with this charge here. All right, there's another Thunderclap. Stomp and Chain Lightning versus, well, Archmage, um, well, Brilliance Aura and Thunderclap. Mountain King down to 286 hit points. Could turn around, try and Stormbolt. Um, we're going to see a low hit point Grunt get sniped down. Perhaps there's going to be a Thunderclap. One Grunt down, two Grunts down. A third Grunt could get taken down. You can see all of that damage there. There's a stun, and that stun actually slowing down the Water Elementals, but the uh, Grunts are getting picked apart as well. No one is really surviving this battle. It's like all well, all the characters in all the side characters in what any Star Wars movie, you could be dead. It's only the main squadron that stays alive and those squadrons are the heroes. Water Elemental getting uh, well, uh, dying and dashed. Archmage trying to double back around. We're looking at the wolves going after perhaps the Mountain King. Mountain King still has a decent amount of hit points. There's a massive thunderclap against all of these units again as the Mountain King still able to get away. All right, and snare onto a priest. Priest gets poked down easily. As I mentioned before, the headhunters only have 375 hit points and are getting cleaned up easily. 31 supply compared to 46. Focus has retaken the lead, but the Torrent Chieftain could get taken down and he does fall. Farseer, well, gonna go ahead and take down the Mountain King instead. So now level 6 versus level 5 as the units are still trying to get away. Farseer, is he gonna be able to get away here? We're looking at the grunts. We're looking at perhaps a couple of ensnares constantly getting shot in the back. Archmage ends up getting surrounded here. And with the Archmage now surrounded, Folk, uh, Romantic gonna lose that there as the Focus able to escape away with the Farseer. All right. Focus with the win, waiting for the GG after that final exchange. Plot armor, definitely the strongest armor out there. But yes, in, in the end, the, well, sometimes you're, the main characters need to pass away in order for the story to progress. That's what happened to all the other heroes except the Farseer. Farseer able to escape and, well, get the win. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Let me know what you guys thought about this game in the comments below.